Well, it's just wonderful to be with you again on family time. And we want to share a beautiful promise from God for you. First of all, good people don't go to heaven. Believers go to heaven. If we go to the Word of God in the first book of Timothy, chapter 1, and I'm reading the New King James Version, I'm reading from verse 12. This is Paul speaking. He's writing to his spiritual son, Timothy. He says, And I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who has enabled me, because he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. Although I was formerly a blasphemer, that's a swearer, a man who swears, a persecutor, he was persecuting the Christians, and an insolent man, an angry, cheeky, bombastic man. But I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly and in unbelief. And the grace of our Lord was exceedingly abundant with faith and love, which are in Christ Jesus. Verse 15, this is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance that Christ Jesus, listen to it, came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. You know, there are many titles that our beloved Jesus is called by. He is called the, the shepherd of the sheep. He's called the great plowman. He's called the lily of the valley. He's called the king of kings, the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. But the title that I love the most is he is called the friend of sinners. And that's what, that's what Paul's saying. I want to say to you, maybe you're sitting there today and you're feeling condemned. You said, Angus, I've really messed up my life. You know, I've committed adultery or I've stolen or I've, I've, maybe I've killed a man. I want to tell you, if you, I'm going to pray for you in just a minute. If you genuinely repent, what does that mean? Say, sorry, Lord. He will forgive you. He will restore you like he did to Paul. And he'll make you a man or woman of God. That's all you've got to do. But if you are insolent, if you are arrogant, and if you are proud and saying, I don't want that, then there's nothing God can do for you. And you will be handed over to the devil. I want to encourage you to pray this prayer with me. I'm going to pray it now, and then I'm going to carry on just a little bit. So would you be very quiet? Because I, I can see there are people there that are broken. That's right. I would like you to write to us and tell us. You are broken. You are unemployed. Maybe you are sick. Maybe you're sitting alone because your family can't put up with you anymore and they've left you. You can come back to Jesus and he will draw your family back. He will give you employment. He will give you a life worth living. He will give you a peace in your heart. Shalom. As we say in Zulu, ukutula. It comes from God. Please pray this prayer after me. I'm going to pray very slowly because I really mean it's very important. Dear Lord Jesus, I have heard the word of God today. I ask you to please forgive me for the lifestyle I have been living. Today, Lord, I repent. I say sorry. I will serve neither gods but you. I turn my back on alcoholism, drug addiction, lust, and every filthy thing that has kept me from you. I turn my back on it today and I ask you to come into my life and to be the Lord of my life. And I will follow you faithfully, Lord, unconditionally until you come again in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, if you have prayed that prayer with me, I want to tell you, you can get ready for a change in your life. And so until the next time on Family Time, I want to say to you, God bless you, well done, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye.